Okay, so I wasn't going to do a video of this, but I thought, what the heck, I might as well. So if anybody saw my first video of fixing the wood planer, I had an aluminum muffin that I started out with to make a bushing. So a lot of people have campfires in their backyard. This is my fire pit in the backyard. And I had a lot of scrap wood material from recent projects that I've done. And the weather was nice enough today to have a fire. So while I'm burning up the wood, I also had some scraps of aluminum laying around from, I don't know, just playing around previously with doing this. So I threw them in this can that's sitting there in the middle of the fire. And I've let it sit now for about 45 minutes. I had a good hot bed of coals first. This fire was going for a couple of hours before I did this. So it was full of scrap bits of aluminum. Um, I said about 45 minutes had been sitting in there and I decided to pull it out see if anything had melted. Oh, it just tipped over. Well, we'll come back to it. So what I ended up with, my small muffin tray here, I just took that can out and poured it and I've got four muffins, lots of extra aluminum on the top. You can see the flames from underneath. It was sitting on this dry piece of wood when I poured it in and the heat instantly started the wood on fire. There's some there, that's where I actually had the tray sitting when I poured it and it spilt over the edge. So it's laying on the wood, it's no longer burning, but this has still got a flame underneath it because it's producing so much heat from that aluminum. So that's how we got our aluminum muffin that we started out with in our very first video where we made a, a bushing to repair our wood planer. So I just thought while I was doing this that I'd show it to you. Uh, I forget the melting point of aluminum, I believe is around 900 degrees Fahrenheit. So it just goes to show you how hot a campfire can be. It melts aluminum without any trouble. So, so we've relocated our uh, muffin tray here. You can see how charred it was where it was sitting when I showed you a little bit earlier. And we moved it over and as it was starting to cool down, you just get the four circles from the bottom of the muffin tray. I think it's cooled enough now where I can grab the tray and just flip it over and they should fall out. And there's our muffins. They're still too hot to grab a hold of yet for sure. Uh, but the little bit of extra aluminum that's around them, that'll just break off because it's very thin. The other piece that we had laying on the wood that was uh, an extra overpour, we threw it back in our can. And all we've done here, we have a fairly heavy steel can that the aluminum is actually sitting in. And we've got a larger can that was big enough to fit over top of it as a lid. And I found just experimenting with this before, that if you have a lid over top of it, it really helps to hold the heat in. Otherwise, the heat dissipates so fast, and I think the temperature of the uh, campfire is so close to the melting point that it takes a very long time to get it to melt. So I should have a longer piece of wire here, but I don't, just to lift the lid off, and we'll see if anything's happening. Now, it doesn't look like anything's happening, but if you give that a poke, it might actually be melting. Yeah, it's starting to, broken half needs to sit in there longer yet so we'll put the lid back on and while we're sitting here having our campfire burning up some wood it will continue to melt and you can just throw a pot can in there one at a time and you'll see how quickly they melt uh, this is really actually quite neat to see at night time uh, you see how everything turns just that bright red it is so hot when you pour it in the muffin tray Those cups in the muffin tray will just instantly turn red as soon as you pour that aluminum in there So it's just kind of a fun thing to do pop cans is all you need uh, You will get some slag floating on top of the aluminum from all of the uh, ink and stuff that's printed on the can but just the end of your fire poker stick and it'll just, you can scoop that out. It'll stick to your, your fire poker as you pull it out and just drop it in the fire. And what you have left is the actual aluminum. So just kind of a fun video, nothing serious. 
Okay, so we're losing our sunlight now. We are 7.30 p.m. here now and it's getting dusk. So our can that our aluminum is sitting in, it's hard to see. It's the bottom one here. This is our lid, this top can, and this bottom one is the heavier steel one that we have our aluminum in. And it is actually red hot right now. So there wasn't much aluminum left in there to remelt. But I'm suspecting it should be melted by now. So I'm going to try and get this out of here and pour whatever is left in there into our uh, muffin tray here that we did the first pour in. And, uh, So not quite enough to make a whole muffin there, but you can see how red the bottom of that thing is. It's just glowing and it might have, yeah, it's hard to see, but it's turning a little bit red on the bottom there. If it was darker out, you'd be able to see it better, but it would be a fairly bright red. So that's all the aluminum we have for now, but you can see that it can be done in just a campfire. It does take a very hot bed of coals and a long time. But if you're just sitting around the fire anyhow, time is of no concern. So thanks for watching. That's the end of this video.